Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage Shell. And this week we have respawn carts, ownership of those respawn carts and beds, and updated character status, as well as more construction blocks. But before I go over some of that actually in person, just going to point out that last week's update was the Castle Siege dedicated server update, similar to the Space Engineers dedicated servers. You can now run a dedicated server for Medieval Engineers, specifically for the Castle Siege game mode. And they, of course, also had added some more build modes and switched around the way the hammer works. So left click is now build and right click is deconstruct with a hammer instead of two different hammers and all that nonsense. Anyway, let's go ahead. Um, also, last week's update added a mark that allows you to see how much health or food stamina you're going to regain when you eat. But let's go ahead and do a load world. We have a world for this update. I'm going to do an edit settings. And right here, we have the respawn carts button that was added this week. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on and load into this world. Now, the respawn carts is a respawn point, basically, that you get whenever you start a world. Now, I think it's a bit silly, but it's basically an easy start option. So this is my basic survival world I've been on for a while. Now, you'll notice there's no respawn cart sitting around here because I already existed. But because we have that respawn carts option on, if I was to die, and since I don't have a respawn point set, it'll give me one. But before I do that, since my food is a bit low, you can see at the top left, I'm going to go ahead and run into my food storage area here and grab some food just to demonstrate that little line that they added up. Uh, wrong button, we need I for this. And let's not eat some mushrooms, let's eat some of these berries that I believe I have stored in this one here. There we go. And we're gonna shift and left click drag. So that's while holding shift, left click drag. I don't remember this being here, maybe it was before, but whatever, we now have the option to go through numbers. And let's just go to here and click and drag. Let's do one of these. Let's, oh, we can't break the group within the same section, of course. Let's just do a shift left click on that. Should I think, or control left click, just a left click, shift double left click. I thought there was this quick way to eat these. Shift, control, and these just right click. There we go. And you see at the top left there, it basically shows a slightly, well, it's, it's, I don't know what to call it there. Let's eat a two more there. You can see it shows a little arrow, but it also shows that little area there without a line in front of it, showing that that's where it's going to get you up to on food-wise. Anyway, that was all for demonstration. Let's go ahead and add this. Let me put that back in here. Let's just do that. Plop those back in. And let's just end our own little life. Yarp. <laughs> Always a bit silly to see the character plop over like that. And there we go. It spawned us in because we didn't have a spawn point instantly with a respawn card. And this is, of course, said respawn card. Now, if we go ahead and look through its inventory, you can see that it's got a few little things on it. A few barrels with some very simple starting supplies, herbs. Actually, I don't even remember herbs. Where did herbs come into play? Are those just those blueberries I was looking for for eons and could never find? I suspect they probably are. Let's go ahead and pick those up and see. Can we eat herbs? Well, maybe if I had some food down. Anyway, let's go ahead and also just, uh, oh dear, I keep pressing K because I'm used to uh, medieval engineers, or space engineers, pardon. But you can see we got roots, all sorts of little tiny, very simple stuff in here. Mainly just food is what I'm getting at. And of course your tools still spawn in you. It would be kind of interesting if you can make those tools, you know, like Minecraft and some other games, by starting out with nothing. But considering they have some metal heads to them, it doesn't quite make sense. For the respawn point itself, you can see right here at the front has a bed. You can now go ahead and press, I believe it was I on that. No, it must have been K on that. There we go, K. And you can see it comes up with a little option. You see it's owned by me. Of course, if this was destroyed, and let's go ahead and switch to, where did I have the hammer set up? We'll just set them up on number seven, shall we? So character tools, we'll use the hammer here. So we'll go ahead and right click. And it's, as you can see at the bottom right, it is deconstructing this. There we go. And let's see, did that put it all in our inventory? No, I don't quite. Ah, yeah, just tossed it on the ground. But now if we were to get I again, because we don't have a respawn point, because we just destroyed it, it'll spawn us with a brand new respawn card. Or it should. Yep, there we go. So right there you have a bit of a hack currently that you can continue getting new respawn cards. I'm not sure if these vanish when you log off. I doubt that they do, because it would be a bit annoying to move those about and then have them destroyed. Let's really quickly go ahead and take... Not necessarily the hammer, but let's go ahead and take an axe and just break this real quick. And we're just going to go ahead and set ownership of a proper bed elsewhere. Actually, we don't even have to break this. We can leave this functional just so I can demonstrate that. Oh, it's below the red line. Let's do that as a test too to see if it even remains functional. So let's run back to our house and I have a few beds there. And you don't just have to use these respawn carts as respawn points. There is a proper respawn bed if you have 
Hmm. What am I trying to say here? If you've put a bed in, you can go ahead and use that just as a respawn point. So what we can do is come up here, select our bed with K, set it to be owned by me, because currently nobody will allow no one to spawn. There's no share with all function with the respawn bed. And let's also do that up here with this bed here and set that to be owned by me. There we are. And now if we were to expire suddenly for no apparent reason and do that silly fall backwards, instead of it just instantly respawning us, it gives us spawning options, or at least it's supposed to give us spawning options. This is odd. It's only showing the bed that we have out there in the middle of nowhere. Uh, yeah, so it's spawning here, and apparently I'm stuck on it. There we go. Also, the target reticle here seems to uh, be a bit different, strangely enough. As you can see, it seems to have this thing that indicates when you're... I'm not quite sure what exactly that's supposed to mean. I don't seem to remember them having a video telling us about this. I'm just assuming it means that you're able to hit something. Or, you know, cause the game to crash. Wonderful. Alright, so obviously I've reloaded the game. I'm going to go ahead and click ownership of this, set it to me. I'm going to press K on that to indicate that it is indeed owned by me. And now let's go ahead and, uh, well, disembowel ourselves again. And do our silly plot backwards. <laughs> and, hmm, it's just instantly respawned. So something very strange is going on here. I don't quite follow. If we were to die now, that we have that bed over here and the respawn point behind us, in theory, it'll do, yes, this, because it'll suddenly think we have a respawn point elsewhere, but it's not showing it here. I can't seem to, I'm using the arrow keys and it's not showing anything here. Let's respawn and go check that bed, shall we? So let's run up into here and see our nice little bed in here. Press our, uh, wrong button, press our K button on, uh, access denied now. Well, there you go. That's some sort of finicky psychotic nonsense there where it appears that, um, even though I set that bed to be owned by me, I guess now that I died, it thinks that, um, it's owned by a dead man. Odd. So yeah, right now it looks like you, even though you can build a bed, possibly you don't want to do that. There's a good chance that, um, it's not going to let you spawn it. What we can do really quickly is we're going to deconstruct the bed and just go ahead and build a new bed right in its place. So let's go ahead and deconstruct it. Uh, there we go. I believe it was right click to deconstruct. There we go. It's, that is a little... What the frack? Come on, game. You're not very useful today. There we go. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Oh dear lord, please. There we go. God, the, the fact that the character camera sways with your character's head can be slightly problematic. There we go. So we've deconstructed that in a very small room. So we've broken a piece of the wood. You can try to place another one down. So we just try placing it out here. Timber. There's timber. There's clearly timber within range. But I guess it's only one. The UI apparently isn't updating properly. It's possible that beds aren't actually built for survival construction yet. So it's... Oh, you know, they should be. I'm in survival mode and it let me select a bed, didn't it? Yes. It did. So yeah, the game is... um. You need tin timber to build it. So I need tin timber just to start building it. Required two, only one there. Is that what's happening now? If I was to deconstruct a wall. So there we go. I deconstructed the wall. It gave us some stuff. And was the bed just done? It instantly takes what's needed. Timber tin. See, very odd. It looks like it only needed like two timber really to build it. Even though it's doing a little construction swing. Now what's it doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Very, uh, there we go. It's showing 100%. So now let's go ahead and try to set this to be owned by us. Me, yes, very good. And now, once again, uh, self-destruct. <laughs> now it looks like I got a target reticle on my own head. Brilliant. Almost like a halo from that angle. And there we go, now it's showing. So, if you've put a bed in in creative, we've now proven that you shouldn't have done that. Go ahead and delete all the creatively placed beds in your fortress, I guess. And, um replace them. Very odd that. Extremely confusing. I don't really understand it. Um, maybe it was to do with the fact that it was stuck in that corner. Doesn't quite make sense to me. The whole thing's a bit odd right now. Let's see. Let's just do one more test before I end this video. I'm sorry. It's a bit of an odd video with testing. I kind of expected this update video to be, well, two seconds long, but weirdness has occurred again. So there we go. Once again, we're going to go ahead and try to set this to be owned by me and see if it being stuck in the corner was the cause or just the fact that it was a creatively placed bed originally was the issue. 
Nope, it's still there. So yeah, it, if you've placed beds in creative, you're gonna have to go ahead and tear those down and, ooh dear, that's not good. You're gonna have to go ahead and tear those down in survival and replace them if you want to actually use them in survival, apparently. That is really pretty unfortunate. I can kind of see my name. Can I access my own inventory? I can. Browsers. Uh, yeah, that's it for today's update. A bit finicky, but, um, well, what do you expect? Pretty cool stuff nonetheless, though. Respawn cart seems like they're giving you a bit too much. I like the idea of, oh my god, I need to find food! But it's optional, as I showed, I believe, where you can turn it on and off per world. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Can I launch myself off of this to end the video? Would that be an appropriate end to such a video? Can I please just hop, hip, hop, hippity, hippity, hip, hip, hop, 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 head, hippity. Can I aim right there? Bye.